Welcome to Friday Art with my friend Fernley. Today we're going to learn how to draw an ice cream cone. But for starters, we should practice with a piece of paper and a pencil. Find any old piece of paper that you have and grab a pencil. I want you to practice finding about halfway on your paper and then I want you to draw a triangle. See how my triangle's upside down and see how it kind of scoops in the middle. Draw a triangle that scoops in the middle. And then, sweethearts, I want you to draw a round scoop of ice cream. It's like a circle. Go ahead and practice. Pause the video until you're done and you're happy with your practicing. Welcome back. I guess you're happy with your ability to draw ice cream cones. Here you are on this page now. So, you see, I've added some lines on the cone part. So add some lines and add some drips from your ice cream, as if it was dripping in the sun. When you're happy with your cone, push pause and go get a piece of blue construction paper, a piece of chalk, and steal your pencil. Go ahead and push pause on the recording until you get your blue paper, your chalk, there we go, hon, and then you can push play again. Honeys, as you see, the first thing I did was I drew an ice cream cone real light with my pencil in the middle of my blue paper. You can draw really light just to make sure you get it how you like it. You can erase it if you need to. When you have it just how you like it, then you can push play again. After you get your ice cream cone just how you like it with your pencil, I want you to get out your chalk and see how I traced over the top of my pencil lines. You can do it too. Push really hard. That's it. Push hard on your paper and leave a nice line of chalk on top of your pencil. Remember how we added the lines on the cone? And remember how we added the little drips as if it had been in the sun for too long. Go ahead and do that now. Add your lines and add your little drips. That's it. You just need a few. Very good. Now, I'm going to take my chalk in my hand again. And you see, I'm going to make some very thick lines with my chalk on just one side of my cone. I'm doing it on my ice cream and I'm doing it on my cone and I'm filling in on my drips that are coming off the side of my ice cream cone. You can do that too. When you're ready, you can push play. Now, this next part, it's really fun, so try not to get too carried away. But you're going to take your finger and you're going to start where the chalk is nice and thick. And you're going to smudge the chalk and pull it into the center where there's no chalk. Start with your ice cream on top first. Look, just look at how nice it looks when you smudge that chalk all the way from the outside to the centre. It looks beautiful, like a small whirlwind. 
So do a good job smudging your chalk. And when you're ready, turn the page. Now that you're done smudging the ice cream on top, you're going to use your same finger and you're going to smudge the cone and then you're going to smudge the little drips of ice cream. Smudge it in nice. And when you get done smudging the cone and the little drips of ice cream, use your finger and smudge the lines all around the outside of the cone and the ice cream just to soften the lines a little bit. Now that you're all done smudging the lines, I decided I wanted to cover the pencil a little bit more. So I got my chalk back out and I took it and I pressed really hard and I made some thick lines over the top of some of the parts where there was pencil and I made it nice and thick all over and then I did a little more smudging here and a little more smudging there till I got a product that I really really liked. Now when you're all done smudging take a picture and share it with me. I'd love to see how your ice cream cone turned out. Well, my friends, it's been a true delight to spend some time making Friday art with you. Where else can you make this art? Take a picture. Share it with me. Until next time, this was Friday Art with Fernley, and I bid you... Adieu. Adieu. Adieu.